All right, folks, we're inside here at Crabs to Go on the corners of Route 50 and 589 in West Ocean City. I'm here with co-owners Dan Parker and John Whitmire. Guys, welcome to the show, man. We really okay. appreciate having you guys. What we're going to do, folks, today on the cooking segment is we're going to concentrate on the crabs. That's their specialty here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grade them out for you. We're going to take you over to the steamer and show you how they steam them here. And then the professional Dan here and I are going to show you how to properly pick a Maryland Brute Blue Crab. Pick me one basket over there. Okay, so we're basically here at the grading station at Crabs to Go behind the counter here in the kitchen. And we're here with Johnny. Uh, this guy's been here for 16 years. So if you think there's any lack of experience, you're out of your mind. So, whoa! whoa. All right. <laughs> I, notice, I notice you're dropping these guys in ice. Yes. Okay, so is that something you would suggest for people to do at home also? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. What, what do they do? What's it do for them? Calm them down? Yes, okay. calm crab down. You'll be able to take and fold their claws and put it in the pot okay. to spice them and just makes for a nicer product, keeps the claws on, keeps the moisture out so the crabs do not get mushy. I will season them up, put a layer, another layer of crabs, another layer of seasoning, another layer of crabs, another layer of seasoning. Take them over here to steam or get them steamed up. Bam. A little high pressure boilers cooking. We got four pots on each line. And the steam's coming out of there right away. Yep. Okay. Instantaneous. Now, now when we're, we're at home, it takes me a little while to get the water boiling. Right. Okay, once the water starts boiling, what, what, how long should I wait to put the crabs in and all that sort of thing? When you get it up to a bowl and, and, and spice it or spice your crabs, yep. you're looking for about 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes after it starts to steam good? Yes. Okay. 30 minutes after it starts to steam good when you're at home, that's the going rate. Here, it's about half that time because these guys have got some high pressure boilers pumping some really hot steam in there. So 15 minutes and we're finished. Um, we're going to get them going here, we'll wait a couple of minutes. After we're done, Dan Parker and I are heading over here. We're going to show you how to properly pick a Maryland crab. He's one of the best, been doing it for over 30 years. Oh yeah, okay. fresh from the steamer. All right, so we've graded our crabs out. We've got them all steamed up 15 minutes, and here they are hot and fresh. We're here with co-owner Dan Parker from Crabs to Go. Been in the business for 33 three years this year. Can't putt very well, but he can clean a crab with the best of them. So that's what we're going to show you guys. Dan, welcome, man. Thanks very much for jump, jumping on board this year. We really appreciate you guys having us with us. You're and now, welcome, but I have seen you putt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm allowed to say what I want. <laughs> all right, so look, this, this is awesome. These, these are jumbos. Um, uh, well, it's a mixture. I mean, there's some large, some extra large oh, jumbo. But I, mean, I mean, I mean, this big boy here is a jumbo. Yeah, these these are beautiful, beautiful crabs. It's still hot. Now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to pick a crab. There's a hundred different ways to pick a crab. Some people use a mallet. Some people use just a knife. Some people use a mallet and a knife. Dan's got his way, and since he's been doing it for 33 years, we're gonna let him show us how he does it. I'm gonna stand here and do it with him so you guys can learn at home how to properly get it so you get the most meat out of one. All right, grab one, I'll grab one. Well, some people do it with a mallet and a knife and a beer. A mallet, a knife, and a beer. Well, <laughs> I always do it at least with a crab and a beer, right? Yeah, that's right. All right. Well, I mean, basically the first thing I do, a lot of people cut off the apron, which I don't. Okay. Is I just grab it by the back fin and grab the point and just pull it up. Oh, okay. That's different already for me. And gotcha. It, and, uh, and the shell comes off very easy. Okay, so grab it by the point, pops off, legs are still intact. And I do this a million times, so if I get going too fast, let me know. Yeah. Well. And then I just break it in half. These are still very hot. Okay. I uh, just break it in half, and that's, that way you got two sections. A lot of times I'll cut that, but you, as you can see, that's pretty easy to break. Just put your finger on both those knuckles, give yeah. it a snap both ways, and it breaks right in half. Okay. Wow. Uh, the lungs, dead man's fingers, whatever you want to call them, they are really not edible. I mean, they're not going to hurt you. They just have new so, uh, nutritional value. Well, people, t they call them dead, told me that they call them dead man fingers because like, they'll make you sick or something. Uh, That's not true. I, I've never gotten sick. Okay. They're not bad. Well, I'm not going to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just kidding, man. They don't hurt you. <laughs> okay. uh, then I just pull out the claws and the legs. Uh, you're going to yeah. get some meat with the claws sometimes. And just sometimes you won't. Right. Part of the process. Part Ooh, of the process. Okay. We got a little vinegar and butter here, so I'm gonna take advantage. No double dipping. Crabs go to the side. Uh, then I take my knife and I just cut it. And you're way ahead of me. Knuckles, knuckles come with the yeah. leg. Okay. 
Now, you ever eat the leg meat? Sometimes you if I just want to pick. Yeah. If I'm just sitting at a table, somebody else is eating crabs, they're not eating their legs, I may pick them just for something to do. But no, there's not a whole lot in there. Okay, so. Uh, then I just cut it right back in half again. Okay, face is gone, apron is gone, dead man's fingers now are gone, and you cut that right in half. There's gonna be some knuckles here, it's just gonna block you from uh, picking it. So, I mean, either pull them off or cut them off, I mean, whatever you wanna do. Okay. So, uh, Scotty just cut them off, I pulled them off. I cut them off, he pulled them off, but as you can see, that's one half of a half, so that's a quarter of the back. And now we've got these notches here, where that's all that is is meat. There's a piece of, of uh, let's call it shell in between, uh, cartilage. But cartilage in uh, between. Cartilage, and you can see that on the bottom of the crab too. Everywhere where, where there's a line, there's also cartilage going through the crab. Very good. So that's where all the legs come into the compartments. Eight different sections, four on this side. You flip it over, and there's meat in every single one of them. All right, the way I do it, I mean, some people use a mallet. I just use the back of my hand. Just uh, get about halfway through, or uh, not quite halfway through. Okay, I'll just get it through and just kind of twist it. Just a couple of cracks until you hear it pop that right. first part of the shell. Okay. And then twisted. actually take your knife and instead of pulling straight back out, give it a little twist to the side, kind of like you're knocking something off of it. While it's still in the shell, you'll actually crack the shell. I did better than you did. Yeah, look at that. That's yeah. lame. <laughs> but then you but that ain't saying I can't get to it. But then, I mean, some people take a mallet on that. And then just pick it. Gotcha. And just pick it. So that's why it's. Oh, thank you. That's very generous of you. It's your fault. <laughs> Man. Okay, so that's it, really, right? That's it. Well, you got any more questions? I'm going to pick up some of your scraps. Um, <laughs> but if, if you want some awesome crabs cooked right every time, basically, and a pro that'll show you how to do it, you got to stop by here at Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. We're basically at the hub of West Ocean City in Berlin and Ocean Pines. Five minutes from Ocean City, five minutes from Ocean Pines, and five minutes from Berlin. What goes better with a hot steam crab than a Miller Lite, cold Miller Lite? Right next door, go visit their brother Mark and Robbie over there, Bobby we'll call them. Uh, Raceway Beer and Wine. Raceway Beer and Wine. Raceway Beer and Wine. Gas, chips, everything you need. Raceway Beer and Wine. What we're, we're Beer and Wine, right next door. Crabs to go right here. Gotta stop by, Dan. You're uh, dirty. Uh, uh, they I'm do dirty. Keep, uh, they do keep their cool around 30 degrees, so they have very cold beer. Fast, fattest, tastiest crabs this side of the uh, Chesapeake Bay. That's what I say. We think so. Wow. All right, listen, folks. Thanks for joining us here at Crabs to Go. Stay tuned after the break. We'll be right back with some more Hooked on OC.